Hi, this is for Aquarius, and I'm doing something new. If you haven't seen the last two videos, I think I might have done. I'm doing a spread. Dreams come true. So, Aquarius, if you're wondering about a dream that's come that is going to come true or not, this is the spread for you. My name is Tara. I am your High Priestess. It's just a regular tarot card spread. I've never done just spreads. I am channeled. Fair sense medium. That's oh, my dog. What's wrong, Sophie? Are you okay? Sophie, okay? My daughter's outside playing with her little friend, and I have five children, five, well, four boys and two girls, among, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm saying. Four boys and one little girl, and... more than the boys. Aquarius, is your dreams going to come true? We'll find out for you. Shadowscape's companion. I was ordering these cards and then again, of course, I got a book and it gives little spreads and then gives the same almost the same meaning as what each tarot card means but it's it's a little different this mercury retrograde is really getting to me i have no makeup on i chopped my hair completely off i'm in a I'm in a weird funk. funk. So we'll go one, two, three. So the first card is your strongest aspect. Your second is helpful energy. The third is the weakest. Four and five is what to do about it. And your sixth card is your... Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six cards came out. Aquarius. This is for anyone that has Aquarius in their chart. So one, two, three, four, five, six.
So your strongest aspect is lovers. I'm just pause and make sure I get the right thing in the book. So your strongest aspect is the lovers. Union, balance, energy, flow, love, desire, passion, melding of heart and mind, forming a union or marriage. Though it can be romantic in nature, it is not necessarily so. The lovers is also about de deter determining values and struggles with choices. The innocence embodied in the turtle doves in a con contrast to the shiny red apple to the embrace of a snake. One of the oldest symbols of temptation. Likewise, the pure simplic simplicity of the kala lily contrasts the lush and sensual complexity of the rose. To seek the union that all souls ache for the desire, to the knowns of the oneness, the passion and loves to reveal. Their eyes are open, but the gaze only but they gaze only at one another, oblivious to the sun that goes on turning above them in the gaze of the heavens, neither gold or gem encrusted crown of kings and grapevines, and flowers twin crowned in peasants grace their brows. Take this seed, he says to her. Place it, a corn in her palm. Water it with the font of the spirit of the intentions, and we shall see where, what grows, she replies. Lovers. The helpful energy is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords slices through lies and deception to heart of truth. She is honestly the inner knowledge sending forth her winged seekers into the world. They are an extension of her being and her soul. What they see, they send thrumming back to her along with an invisible lines that connect them through the, either they know the language of souls for they have passed through the metamorphosis that is not sleep or not death. The blinding white in the color, purity, honesty, clarity, and uncompromised, uncompromising balance. But also of distance and sometimes death. For sometimes to get truth, one must cast off the old to slot off presence and guilt. Discard the past, leave the cocooning shells, and delve deep into the seek of truth face to wear the show and show the world. The Queen of Swords is an intelligent woman, loyal, witty, and humorous in her fourth white way. She is valued for her accurate perceptions of the world around her and her experiences. She has gazed within her eyes to a mirror, the reflection to exactly what should be in the light that shines within her soul's blaze bright in the glaze. In the language of flowers, purple symbols, inner strength, and the white is truth. So we have lovers here. And the lovers is balancing but what kind of intentions are you throwing out there and the queen is seeking for truth 
The weakest aspect is the Seven of Pentacles. She stands in the verdant garden as she is. She has lovingly tended. She is the guardian darad, darad of the wood. She is, she is a part of this place, this Eden of her own making. The peaches are ripe. The magical energy works in each lush glow. Peaches are a fruit of summer. Long days of relaxation. The nectar is honeyed. Oh, okay. To pluck them or now. The tattoo wave churn on her body with her speculation. She lays her hand on the fruit, ready to take it. It pulse, pulses faintly as it contains the heart of the tree, beating with the pulse of sap through the branches. With these peaches, they sparkle and live and glow once taken from the tree. Or will they become dull and a normal fruit in her basket? The Seven of Pentacles challenges you to make a choice to eat and enjoy the fruit in the basket or leave them to a flower and ripen and continue upon the branch. It is about re reaping the reward for effort and work. The seeds have been sown. The time of work and waited has passed. They have grown and come to fruition. Now is a moment to appreciate. It is, is a calm moment of consideration of alternatives and difficult approaches. Should you or should you not? Truth or false? Is there someone being false within this lovers? What to do? The hair font and the four of cups. The hair font and the four of cups. Pause to find the hair. The hair font roots rich, um, reach deep and twined around secrets and traditions and ages. He believes in rituals and ceremony and pursuing knowledge, the deeper meaning, and the riggedy of belief system. He um and brings in earthly plane. He is calm and in possession of himself. He is a teacher and can help unravel mysteries. So this queen of swords is going to find the Hierophant to unravel the mysteries of what's going on with the lovers of the, probably a dream to come true to get married, right? Should she or shouldn't she? Should she bite the fruit or should she let it lie and let it grow another... Um, branch of, right? So, there's a little four of cups. She makes her way to the surface, shivers as she approached, and she bursts through the barriers to climb up the rocks. The water streams from her hair and shoulders. She lies there, still in holding her breath until she is certain that one is, has one, no one has followed her. Who would? They only have eyes and a mind and sense for the world beneath the waves, but she waits Anyway, she wants to be certain she is alone. She is bored of them, tired of the existence of the endless dance of the sea. The ripples of the disruption smooths away, and soon the water surface becomes a glassy mirror. The blue sky melts into reflection blue water. Um, she, star she startles and only then becomes aware that she is not alone as she first thought. Thought the sea... Designizes as left her her own devices. The sylphs of the air have crept close during her distraction. They watch her intently, amused, mocking, sudden as air feels chill upon her drying skin, and she 
yearns for the soothing embrace of the sea on her skin. The Four of Cups represents self-absorption, introception, seeking in too deeply into one's own concerns of being lost in rev awareness of anyone else's um, faucet fods. As the world seems gray, but the, but the outside world has much to offer in a tear and gaze away from your own reflection. You have a lover. You as the Queen of Swords is seeking for truth. You seek the truth within the Hierophant. Someone higher above to get the answers. Should you eat the fruit? Should you let it lie? You want to get away from all these people that are mocking and making fun of. Because you're not sure of if those are who you should listen to. But you believe it's not because it's just the same old, same old. But you see a, 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 a glimmering of light at the end of the tunnel. Which the outcome is two of pentacles. Your outcome with this lover, Aquarius, is the two of pentacles. He stands upon one leg, dancing and juggling act balance. Like a Hindu deity Shiva, he is engaged in a dance of creation and destruction. The Two of Pentacles is a balancing act, juggling and keeping everything in motion, being flexible and adaptable and changing directions easily. Meet these challenges that tumble your way with high spirits, but weary of take on too much at once. Will the confidence be your downfall? Take a step back. Maybe there are no lies. Maybe there are. Maybe you're looking at something that's not there. And that will either be your downfall. I think you need to take a step back, Aquarius, and revisit your thoughts of what is and what isn't and try to get clarity. Do a lot of meditation at this time during Mercury retrograde. And good luck. Love and light.